the zippers look intense. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and get started here. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Frankie Blue and uh, today we are back with another video, of course. So for the first time, I'm actually doing a video on a product that just released. Oh my God, usually I'm like super late to the game, like budgetary reasons, the struggle has been real. So. Yeah, we're gonna try out some new fun products. Now, I didn't buy everything. I bought a couple of things, but not everything. So even though it's super affordable. Anyways, and as you guys see from the title, yes, I am going to be trying out the new Hard Candy X Marilyn Monroe collaboration or collection. Sorry, collaboration, because she just, you know, died. So I'm gonna be trying out the uh, Marilyn Monroe collection from Hard Candy. Um, and I picked up a few things. I didn't pick up a lot of things. I'm super excited. So I love Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe, I can't talk today. Oh my God. I think she's so amazing. She's literally gorgeous. She's amazing, iconic. Seven Year Itch is like one of my favorite movies, as you can tell. Now, I believe that they have two face serums. Um, a, 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 a face spray, you know, some lip tints, lip, uh, lip balms, and some powders, um, and eyebrow pencils. So um, I'll go ahead and post a picture of the entire collection here um, so you guys can kind of see, uh, you know, it's entire. And so I bought the, uh, the precision, precision, I can't talk today. So I bought the Precision Brow Pencil. This is the, in the, I'm sorry, this is the for medium dark. Then they have two shades. They have light medium and medium dark. So I got the uh, medium dark and that's how it looks like. Yo, no joke, like the packaging is like really gorgeous. And then next I did get the uh, Rose Drench Toner and Refresher uh, Hydrolonic Acid and Rose Water Spray. Which looks like that. Again, the packaging is really gorgeous. I'm here for it, work. And then I also did get a, a lip tint. This is the Syrup Kiss Lip Stain. This is uh, the Signature Red. Now they have another shade, I think, like a nudist shade, but we all know Mar Marilyn Monroe, iconic red, just, as, you know. And then last but not least, I did get the um, Tinted Lip Balm. This is in the shade Strawberry, which looks like that, well, I'll pull it out so you guys can see it. So <laughs> that's pretty much all that I got. I didn't really get too much stuff. So I really have no purpose in getting the serums that much. I really don't like using like, you know, face oils and serums. It's not a lot because I have very combo oily skin. So I kind of have like my own things on what works for me. And unfortunately like oil serums aren't really like for me, you know what I mean? Now, price-wise, these were not expensive. I wanna say they were between like $5 to $6 around there, so it wasn't that bad. That's good start. You guys hear some noise. I had to turn on the fan because it's like hot in here, so. I'm growing out my hair, so just, the sideburns are in a very funky place at the moment, so. Don't mind them. Okay, so we're gonna start with the uh, s with the spray. So I took off the little sticker that was holding it in place. So this says, so it's hydrolonic acid with rose water. So it helps hydrate and plump the skin. I mean, look at my face. I don't really need any more plumping because I'm already plump as it is. Look at I enjoy. Actually, let me just spray it real quick here. It has, a, of course, it has that rose water scent, which is like a very nice clean scent, which I love that kind of a smell, so. Oh Lord, that's like a very, it's not a fine mist, but. <laughs> I'll spray you. <laughs> it feels nice, really nice. It doesn't feel like weird or anything, but it feels nice. I feel like it gives my skin like a nice boost of hydration, which is really nice, but it feels nice. So I'm gonna do my foundation for now, and I'm gonna use, since this is a hard candy video, I'm gonna be using the Glamiflash Foundation 
This is the Glamouflage Full Coverage Foundation. This is in the shade Warm Honey. We gotta whip out RJ. Y'all know. Oh, I should have cried. I'm so stupid. Whatever. I mean, the spray is fine, but I still like to prime. Okay, we got our foundation on now, so let's go ahead and quickly conceal. Well, I'm since we're just obviously it's like it's like 10 o'clock at night, and I'm doing makeup like really freaky. So I'm just gonna quickly conceal, and I'm gonna take my favorite concealer here. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. This is in the shade Warm Beige. So I'm not really highlighting. I'm just gonna kind of just do like a simple regular face, which is pretty much almost everything except eyeshadow and mascara and all that stuff but um this is really awesome that a hard candy came and did this like Marilyn Monroe collection I think it's pretty cool um of course I think years back um Mac did a uh a Marilyn Monroe lipstick I think well Marilyn Monroe I think she's uh, iconic I think she's just the most beautiful woman ever um and truly i think i said like iconic like many times but she's literally iconic so i'm just gonna quickly set my face and i'm just gonna take my jeffree star uh setting powder here and i think like when i first saw marilyn monroe um was when i found this old video of hers like doing the uh singing happy birthday to the uh is it the president? Yeah, the president could do it because it's long. Happy birthday to you. Lana Del Rey did that, did that, uh, recreated that for her national anthem video, which I thought was like amazing. Let me know your thoughts on this collection. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it was cool that um that there's this collection is out? And Hard Candy did it. Like, are you guys fan of Hard Candy? I don't know. I never really hear anybody really talk about hard candy what products have you tried what are your favorites what don't you like let me know in the comments below i would love to hear because again i've never really heard a lot of the brand so now that we're bronze let me go ahead and contour my nose because i feel weird without my nose like not contoured i, I have to have my nose contoured the nose is contoured which I think I used the wrong shade, so now my nose just looks really red. <laughs> Don't mind it, the struggle is real. <laughs> Using the wrong products today, oh my God. Now we got face done-ish. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and start with our brows. So now I'm just gonna take the uh, Precision Brow Pencil. This is in uh, medium dark and um, Go ahead and open it up here. So this is big ass box. Well, yeah, this pretty big box for like this small ass pencil. Beautiful but unnecessary. This is what the brow pencil looks like. So you guys can see. It's like really thin. So it looks like that. And then of course it has a little spoolie on the bottom. And then you got the brow. Wow. Wow, that is really thin. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, but look, it has like a very sharp point, but it's like, wow, it's like really precise. So let's hope I don't mess it up. Now, I hate doing my brows on camera because I get really like self-conscious. Like I feel like I'm being judged. Low key, either way, I'm still being judged anyways, especially for like the struggle that I got going on over there, all over here. For the sake of the video, obviously I'm gonna be doing my brows on camera. Let's go ahead and spoolie up my brows. I like to start with the ugly one and then work my way to the good one. The pencil is like really stiff, but for some reason it's giving me a pretty good brow. Like, huh? Huh. I thought this was gonna be darker, but I guess it's not so bad. Wow, okay, work. <laughs> oh, 
like, <laughs> I'm here for it. It gave me a brow. Not that I already had one, but <clears throat> wow, that is a lot of product. Wow. Okay. Wow. For $5, that's not bad at all. Let's go into our other brow now because I'm like hella shook right now. <laughs> I'm really shook about that pencil. Huh. Like my brows look bomb. <laughs> like, <laughs> dang, my brows look good. Actually, my whole face looks really good. Like, I don't know if it was the spray or what. My face looks really good. My skin looks really good. Like, it, huh. Could it be the spray? Could it not be the spray? Hmm. All right, let's quickly highlight now. The yeah, last two items of the collection here, and we are talking about the lip products now. You got the Syrup Lip Syrup Kiss Lip Stain and the Tinted Balm. So let's go for the tint here. Let's see how it is. So again, this is in the shade Signature Red. Now, I feel like I should wear this when I have like an actual makeup look, like eyeshadow everything instead of like this, you know, regular beat. So. Okay, and that's how, that is how the bottle looks like. It looks really gorgeous. You got Marilyn Monroe there. So here is the doe foot. It's a very long doe foot applicator. Holy shit, that is really red. Whoa. What? Well, this is my... Okay, so... It... So... So the scent has a very like vanilla -y scent mix <laughs> but it also smells like a four locos <laughs> if you guys ever had a four locos you will understand where how it smells like it doesn't smell bad but it smells but that's the smell it smells like straight up like alcohol like vanilla liquor so it's like really red Whoa. First thought is that it feels really wet when you're applying it. It doesn't feel moussey. It doesn't feel like satiny or matte or anything. It felt very, very wet. And as you guys can see, it still looks very like glossy and wet, but it's not a gloss. That's what I felt initially is that it felt very wet. And I'm kind of afraid because like imagine if you're like wearing this out and it like it, I feel like since it is it's kind of wet, it might smear ish. I guess I don't know, but I mean it feels nice. It feels comfortable, but it's really pretty though. It's a really nice, beautiful signature red. But I feel like on camera it looks really, really like bright. But in person, I feel like it's a little bit more on like the berry ish, like a deep berry kind of color. So it looks a little bit deeper in person than it does in like on camera. I'm pretty sure it looks really bright, but I just don't know. Let's try to take this off and let's see if I don't really, my lips don't really get stained, so. Okay, so, oh my God. <laughs> so this thing does really stain your lips. Um, My lips did not look like that. <laughs> and like my finger too, it's like really, it's like stained, so. Well, that's what it's called, the lip stain. You know who I look like with these lips? I look like a character, like a villain from fucking Super Mario. I look like one of the fishes from Super Mario or from the Mario game. Oh, imagine I got my lip, imagine if I got my lips done. You just look like that. Literally, you no joke, that stain literally stained my lips and it looks like my lips are all like super puffed. I don't like it. All right, so let's go ahead and finish it off. We're gonna try the lip balm here. So this is uh, this is what the lip balm looks like. It's really cute. Okay, so this packaging. Okay, so it's like a very like cardboardy packaging. So this is cute. Strawberries, Marilyn Monroe. Cute. Okay, hard candy. I'm here for it. Ooh. So looks like that. And let me go ahead and drag it up a little bit. Whoa, you get a little. Wow, you get a lot of product. Whoa, that's really red. Wow. 
So it's supposed to condition and smooth for a perfect pout. I don't know, I feel like I have a huge pout right now because of that lip stain, so. It smell like strawberries? Ooh, it does, hold on. I feel like it smells like a little, like. It smells like the Lucas candy. <laughs> but it does smell good, it smells like, yeah, like, Strawberry-ish with something else. I just don't know. I can't put my finger on it. But I want to say Lucas, but I might be wrong. But it smells pretty good. But let's go ahead and try it out. On my stained lip. I feel like I should have tried this the lip balm first. And then the lip stain. I'm just going to make a drinking game. No matter how many times I say stained. So the lip balm feels really nice. Like I'm still getting the scent. It's not like a very harsh scent or like a very really bothersome scent, but you can you can still get the scent. I don't know if it goes away throughout like the more you wear it throughout the day. So it's nice and comfortable. Um, I feel like my lips are getting a nice like hydration on it. So I gotta try the lip balm like on regular days so, and see how it is. Okay, let's go ahead and quickly now just set the face. We're gonna go back with the Rose Drench, the uh, spray here. Oh Lord, this is a very harsh, harsh spray. That is pretty much it. That is the, uh, some of the products from the Hard Candy Marilyn Monroe collection. Um, <clears throat> my thoughts on it, we're gonna go one by one. So the spray. Let's start with the spray first. The spray is really nice. I feel like it smells like a nice clean rose water. So if you're into that kind of a scent, um, this is really good. But so far, I feel like it gives your skin like a nice hydration, a nice boostness of freshness and kind of like, I guess, wakes up the skin. I don't know, I feel like it's, I feel like it's really good. Like my skin looks, my skin looks really good. Okay, work, I'm here for it. Um, so spray, I feel like is a good buy. So I do recommend the spray so far. Brow pencil. Yo, yo, yo. I was, I was so shook by this. Like, no joke. This pencil is like legit. I'm here for it. Like, I'm really here for it. Like $5 for this. Hell yeah, I'm gonna go back and buy a second one. Nice. I feel like it's nice and detailed and small for you to be able to kind of like shape your brow really nicely and be able to kind of give yourself like those nice like hair strokes so i feel like it's really nice so it's like the only downfall is that is, is that is that it has two shades but to be all in all i feel like this is a really good brow pencil and again i'm gonna go buy a second one of these because the lip stain the smell is like a very alcohol smell, but like a good smelling, but it's, I don't, I don't know how to say it. Like it smells good, but then it smells like straight, like, like liquor. I don't know. It's, it's a really odd smell. I'm just going to be honest. I don't know how I feel about it. Like it goes on really wet. So I feel like it's really easy to kind of just like really mess up your lip real fast, especially with a very bright color where you will be able to see like the full blown mistake. So if you're looking for like a, like a matte lipstick or something mattifying, this is not it. I feel like it's kind of too liquidy. Another thing, one thing that I'm not really a big fan of, I'm not really a big fan of lip stains to be honest with you. Um, but I just, I just don't know. But I feel like this is just a product that you really kind of don't need that you can kind of skip out on. The lip balm. I feel like for this, I kind of do have to try out, try it out like more. Right now, I really can't showcase if this is like the actual to, true tint to it because again, my lip is stained. It feels really nice on the skin. It has that weird like confectionery like strawberry lucas scent i don't know it smells it's not bad it smells good i feel like the packaging for the entire collection is really good packaging coming from, even including the boxes it's really nice they definitely did put some really good thought into the packaging but all in all i feel like this is a pretty good collection 
Um, again, the only thing that I say is just not really necessary is the lip stain. So, um, other than that, so far the products that I did get, like the three products, the spray, the brow pencil, and the lip balm, they're actually pretty good. All hard candy products, as far as what I've seen, you can find them at Walmart or anywhere that they sell, uh, anywhere that sells hard candy. Yeah, if you want to go ahead and check it out, I'll go ahead and leave a link to the hard candy website down below in the description box so you guys can go ahead and check it out. But of course, if you guys want to see it in person, you can go to your local walmart because that's where i got mine and go ahead and check out the products for yourself let me know your thoughts of what you guys think about the products so far in the comments below let me know what you guys think about the overall mm, process that i struggled with <laughs> so let me know if you guys ever tried the brand and what have you tried what do you like what do you don't like let me know let me know all in the comments down below also make sure you guys to leave me your suggestions down below in the comments of what you guys want to see in future videos i would be happy to comply as well as make sure you guys subscribe to my channel go ahead and be part of the tribe as well as make sure you guys like and share the video so that way we can bring more people over here to the tribe so they can see this hot mess always be a hot mess so thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye